Hello, and welcome to our third blog in a series of six from Mystique Hardwoods. My name is Robert. If you have any questions about proper grading of teak for your job or about plantation management, please refer to our earlier blogs in this such series. Today we want to talk about teak characteristics, heartwood versus sapwood, and importance of natural oils and silica to your job. Why choose teak? Well, it has a beautiful natural honey look and hue. But more importantly, teak is famous for being highly resistant to rot, pests, like such as bugs, termites, worms, and also fungi in both land and marine environments. Teak is the premier choice for any requirement in the marine industry from decks and interior work to docks. Teak is naturally water resistant and physically very strong and durable. It is not prone to significant expansion or contraction with humidity changes. The oil in teak is what makes it weather resistant and it requires basically no care when it's left outside. Its high silica content gives it non-skid properties as well as durability. This makes it a great choice in damp environments or where slipping could be very dangerous. Unlike most wood species, teak sapwood has the same physical strength and density characteristics as the heartwood. That makes it easier to, for us to utilize the entire tree without concerns for strength issues. The sapwood, however, does not contain as high a concentration of the pest-resistant uh, teak oil. We do not recommend sapwood used in exterior marine environments where it's in direct contact with salt water. A few numbers for you to compare with other woods. Teak is hard, but it's not so hard to be difficult to work with. Though the silica will blunt sharp tools, plantation teak actually mills and accepts stains very well. On the Janka hardness scale for all woods, teak has a rating of 1,155 pounds, which is slightly harder than English oak at 1,120. It's also important for it not to be so hard that it can't be flexible. It can't be used on, in a marine environment on, on boat decks if it's not going to be flexible. Teak is very dimensionally stable. Its shrinkage coefficient, which is very important for flooring installation, is 5.3%. For comparison, red oak is 8.6% and ipe is 7.2%. Kumaru, which often is heard of as Brazilian teak, though it is not teak, is 7.7%. Teak is therefore superior when it comes to stability in your flooring or in your decking. If you want to make outdoor furniture, the natural oils will protect the wood and you don't have to do a thing to it if you don't want to. It depends on the color, of course, that you're going for, it's personal preference. Teak, if left outside to weather in the sunlight, will go a silvery gray color. I have a piece here that we can show. Okay, so just in this area right here, you can see that it's gone slightly silver. And just I'll get a comparison board so you can see it more obviously. So in this case, you can now see the difference between a board that has never seen ultraviolet light and the other board that's been weathered by the sun, but probably only for about a month and a half. If you prefer to not have the teak silver in the sunlight, then an application of a simple teak, tongue oil, uh, linseed oil, or if you prefer a urethane type coating, it will not significantly change the natural hue of the wood, but it will prevent it from adopting a weathered look. Mystique high quality, carefully graded plantation teak is a viable option at significant savings to disappearing old growth teak now being phased out of the industry by tightening environmental standards. If you have any questions about the proper use of teak, including plantation teak, drop us a line here at Mystique or alternatively, check us out on the website at www.mys-teak.com. Thank you, 
Have a great woodworking day, and please leave any comments you have below. And if this helps you, please give us a big thumbs up as well. Thank you.